So guys, the other week I had a boat brought in. The customer says that the trailer brakes don't work. I've been working on a, boat, a lot of boats actually. I was on vacation last week, I called out to look at a boat. That one start, it was an 89 Mercury four cylinder motor. Customer, uh, customer put a new ignition coil on, didn't have it tight, and then they didn't have the points set up right in the distributor, so it wouldn't start. They weren't real happy when I figured out what the issue was in like five minutes. But, uh, with this trailer, I looked at this before, left on vacation, and I'll show you guys here. But, uh, I said the brakes don't work, and... When I checked the fluid here, it looked really like milky, like there's water in it. Let's see. This guy only uses the boat in fresh water. Let's see. Look, see how like rusty it is around here? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's like all rusty. And then it has like a milky look in there. Yeah, last time I looked at it, it was right after he brought it down. And like you could see like, it almost looked like oil when you have water mixed into it. So this might have separated by now. But I had checked this. Let's see if we can check it now. Yeah, see it mixes up the meter. definitely a high concentration of water in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump this out I'll probably even show you guys to pump this out and then we'll fill it with new fluid we'll try to bleed the brakes hopefully I can and we'll see if that fixes it now you can manually actuate these I believe by putting something in here a screwdriver or an extension and just you can manually pump these. I don't know if you can see that now, but it definitely looks like there's stuff floating in there. Like on the top. You can see like the shadows of the droplets. So I'm going to get this pumped out. We'll go from there. It's all this yet, but I set up my air compressors now in here. I got the air compressor turned on. This is uh, uh, 180 PSI right now. So we'll start sucking this out. They turn on at 150. I need to get a regulator. get like a little hose or something. There's stuff in there too. Let's see if we can see it. This whole thing might have to be clean then. Guys, I'm not sure how much of this you can see. There is so much crap in here. When I go in here with my blowgun, just blow around, I was holding a rag in here. Look at all this. I don't think we're going to be able to get this all out. Look at all that. You just go around in here and like you see like bigger chunks come out. Look at that. He's going to need another master cylinder on here. It's probably why the brakes aren't working. I'm going to see if I can unbolt this and maybe pull this out. I never had to replace one of these before. So guys, I thought my compressor filled up. Let me try to see how long it'll last. 
I already have this one this one bolt loose. So it should be filled up to 180 psi right now. size when the compressor turns on from 180 with two two and a half gallon tanks. I tried to break one of these loose by hand. That took a lot of force. But I'm gonna get this off, you know, see what kind of crap we get out of here. Got onto the line yet. And we'll go from there. Guys look how brown this is coming out started bubbling out like real brown look how brown it is in there look at that it's like sludge. I don't know if this is supposed to have that. No. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's like completely clogged. So we're gonna get this off. See what we find in it. Look at this. It's like this is what it looked like the other day when he brought it. It was all like milky, like when you make oil with water. So, I'm going to get this all cleaned out. What I might have to do is break the lines off everywhere on the boat trailer and flush it all out and maybe take the calipers off or the pull cylinders off and clean them out or replace them. So guys, this is all the crap that I got out of the master cylinder and you can see how big it is yeah it's all it's all rusty in there so guys we got the new hitch and master cylinder here for the trailer this is the revised edition. See, it has the quick coupler. And then down here, let's see if I can set these next to each other. It has a really big screw-on cap that goes in. And if you look, looks like the mass, yeah, it's the master cylinder. It was revised. The master cylinder now has its own top versus using the trailer bracket. 
and this one has a seal that goes around underneath here to seal it to the top where this one has this special cap with an o-ring and this whole metal tube doesn't seal it Let's see if maybe we can flip it over and show yeah see it, it doesn't use this top piece of the flange to seal it where this one see that that red that's sealant you seal it to the top this doesn't have it because it doesn't use this it's, the master cylinder has its own top and look at that it all comes pretty greased pretty nice i'm gonna see if i can get my four scope when we're done and go inside of here so guys i got the new tongue attached i gotta torque down the bolts just got a regulator cheap regulator and some harbor freight high flow connectors these things are kind of awesome let's see do i have something yeah there we go look how big that hole is it's gigantic but i didn't convert my guns over yet to high flow so i have to use an adapter these things are pretty nice for now my tank pressure I have it regulated 90 PSI right now. I might have to turn it up then, but I'm going to get these all torqued up, all tightened up, and then move it over to the shop, and then I'll torque them. But the old ones were super, super tight, so it's probably like a high torque spec. So guys, I got the tongue all attached. got the line all screwed in. I had to pull it a little tighter. I had to bend it a little bit. I made sure that well, it doesn't look like it's going to rub on any metal. So apparently this master cylinder is in just a little bit farther. But I get this done and then tomorrow we'll just torque down. So guys we're back with the boat trailer and I got my I got this new tool set the other day from Mac Tools. It's a brake wrench set. It has the rubber in it, so you can just hook this hose up. It has a check valve. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so we're going to try it on this boat trailer. I usually just use a container with a hose coming out of it and just have a little bit of fluid in the end so it can't suck it back up. But. I guess we'll try this. Let's see. Check valve. Which way does it go? So this side. That or I use my vacuum bleeder, but I we just try this, see how well it works. So I went through and broke off broke all the bleeders loose. There's two. You guys can see. It's probably hard for you guys to see. There we go. Run this over, put it on there. I didn't put any fluid in yet. So we're gonna see if we can do this without making a giant mess. Let's pour this in here. Okay, got it pretty full. Now we should be able to actuate it right here. Which way is this going to go? Forward. I think it's forward. Or maybe it's backwards. There we go. I have no idea if I had to bench bleed this or not, but if I do... I have the tools. Looks like the level's going down. Definitely getting harder. I'm 
gonna put some more food in there. There we go. I think I might need a flat screwdriver. I thought the 21 might help. Let's see. Wait, no, it's blues to fly. Here we go. It's a lot easier. Now I'm going to open up the check valve down here, see if we can get some fluid to come out. Well, not check valve. Oh, there we go. I just heard some air. So we're going to see how well that works. That looks pretty solid. Let's do it one more time and we'll move to the other side. I'll pump this up a little bit. Oh, look at that nice stream that came out of there. It's a pressure buildup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the other side. And we'll continue over there. Sorry about that, guys. Oops, I some blinds on my phone. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Got air coming out already. Well, I don't think you guys saw it, but air came down the tube and then the check valve stopped it. Do a couple more pumps. Actually, you know what? We'll top this back off up here. You can actually see the air. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. You might be able to see it. Oh, you know what? My tube. Crap. Make a little mess out here and brake fluid. It wasn't much that spilled. Try this again. It's 
So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this up, build our pressure up. Then we'll loosen it and then we'll go back to the other side. We'll add a little bit of fluid to this. And we'll go pop this off and see what happens. Not pop it off. Crack the line loose. See if you guys can see it come out. There we go. Let's just do it one more time. See it moving down the line. Let's tighten this up. We'll move back over to the other side real quick. Man, this is really, really nice. Set that down real quick. Put the hose back on. There we go, we got a nice stream, nice little stream that came out a little bit. So let's pump this. Oh, now we got it pumping. Now we can pump it fully through and flush this out. You know what, I bet you if I pull this... Oh, I can't pull it out with my hands. I was gonna say, I bet you if I pull out the emergency release, it'll just apply the master cylinder. We get a decent amount that comes out every time I do that. Just wanted to come out clean, get all that rust and crap out. Okay, I'll focus you guys on the hose so you can see how much comes out every time. Let's see. So 
it's a decent amount. Do this side one more time. And we'll go do the other side a couple times. And we should be good. And hopefully we can beat the storm because every time it seems like I do a video outside, storm. You're gonna think I live in a rainforest. There we go, we'll focus on the line again. It's definitely quite a bit that comes out. Let's go to the other side. It's all brown too. Well actually, it was brown. You can see in the tube it's pretty clear. Let's see. I don't know what year this trailer is, but I'm feeling that these were never done. Oh, the brakes weren't. Pump this back up. Because it blew out the check, blew out the hose. There's no air in the hose. And this is starting to get difficult to push. Starting to feel some raindrops, so we gotta hurry. getting really really hard now See if we can pump some out of there now. Not sure if it's pumping.
I wonder if that bleeder got clogged. Oh, now we're pumping fluid. I don't know if you guys can see the tube rocking. Oh, I think we just took some air. Crap. See if we can. Uh... Oh my God, guys! I can't even like pull this anymore with that. Let me put the cap on. Set the cap on here. I'm gonna have to wipe that up. Uh, let's see. Let's lower this down. Now we'll move over to the other side real quick and we'll just double check this side and we'll be done. And what I also do, what I won't show in the video is I'll either to try to move the trailer uh, I'm using my truck with uh, the safety latch, well not the safety latch but like the breakaway latch undone or I'll actually tow it and then check the temperature of the brakes with the thermal camera to make sure that they're working evenly. So guys, not sure how much of that you guys got, but I ended up breaking my screwdriver handle and fluid is just coming out the side here. So it's not even making any flow to the back wheel. That's why we weren't getting anything out. Um, so I'm going to have to call the company and see what's going on because that definitely shouldn't have went bad because every time you're breaking, you're moving this tongue in and it's pulling this every time because they're connected. See, because every time I pull that in, the tongue goes in. So I'll call them uh, see what's going on. kind of sucks, so I was hoping to give it back to the customer before I leave for vacation. Just stay tuned for part two. And this is even the upgraded model. 
think it says it somewhere. Like that it's upgraded. 